Okay, next up, I'm going to assemble the power cable feed onto my new Precision Matthews mill. It mounts right here on this end. I've unboxed the contents. It's a picture of the main unit. A bracket. And this cheap protective cover for this gear that's going to go on there. Gear slides over this. Pretty simple. Have to set the in and out. So that it will match and mesh up properly with that gear right there. Now this kit is not made by Precision Matthews. It's made by a line. So the instruction manual that comes in the box, you just kindly take it over Throw it in the trash because it's no good. On the Precision Matthews website, there's directions how to install this onto their mill because some of the components have been altered to fit this specific mill. This has an automatic shut off micro switch that needs to go on there. So you need to make sure that these new stops are put on. So I already removed the ones that came with the mill. Then these go in place. I'm going to put this on before everything else because uh, I think it's going to get trapped with the bracket on there if I don't do it right now. And I did one on the other side as well. And then this front one that came with the machine needs to come off. And this one here will bolt in its place uh, once I mount this unit. All right, I took the stock one off. This new stop needs to be put in place. Just a couple screws. All right, next you put one of these, uh, <coughs> this bracket here on. Snug up the 12 millimeter bolts. Nothing tight, just snug it up for now. We'll have to be uh, aligned side to side um, when we start meshing the gear with the motor and then next uh, put your key in place put the provided gear in place go ahead and snuck that down with a set screw now just snug because you may have to move this outward to line up mesh with the gear on the motor. And then at this time, take a quick measurement and document it. From this face to the back side of the gear. And 2.7 is going to work. That'll give me a little bit of space here so it's not rubbing against the casting. All right, next, the other side of the bracket, you need to mount to the, to the unit. 
two cap head screws here. This to line up. Again, just going to snug them up so you leave some adjustment. ready to be put on the mill. All right, off camera I did a bunch of messing around and measuring and I determined 2.7 was gonna be, wasn't gonna quite work as good as 2.8. So if I had a straight edge across here right now, measuring into the back side of the gear from this edge, 2.8. So I adjusted this out just a little bit. So 2.8 lines up and I tightened everything down stop not these two yet may need to adjust side to side for gear meshing okay off camera I did a pre-installation <clears throat> I got this set up so that that round tooth is not hitting on the housing that I showed earlier So it's equal distance between here and here. So I went ahead and tightened these two screws. Now everything is lined up this direction because of the dimension I took. And I can set the up and down clearance between the gears with these two screws. I'm like that piece of paper, it's about three and a half thousandths. I'm gonna try it there. <clears throat> I think four thousandths is what most people do. Well, let's give it a shot. Let's turn the hand wheel. That piece of paper should go right through. And it does. So we know it's touching on both sides. So now I'll tighten the screws up. All right, install's done. Messed around with the gear meshing just a little tiny bit. <coughs> Tapped it around a little bit. It was a little bit loud for my taste. Had to Put a little bit more in it. But there's a little bit of noise. Nothing terribly bad. Yeah, click it on. Go this way. Rapid Travis. guys this wraps up this installation uh, I've watched a couple of these videos on YouTube uh, some of the people say that this is uh, really chintzy and not firm I mean I'll shake it it is super sturdy there's it's solid as a rock I kind of thought that clamp style on there uh, wouldn't be so great neither and I was probably going to redesign it and do all the taps and holes into my table but you can see it's very solid but I uh, just wanted to point that out I have a couple other things I'd like to show you before we wrap this up. So one other thing I had seen watching some YouTube videos, uh, someone was uh, very concerned that when you turn this on, the LED light doesn't, doesn't show you that it's on. Uh, that's because that's a circuit breaker light. If it trips, then the LED will come on. 
what you really need to look at is that green light right there. It tells you if it's on or not. There's off. There's on. Off camera, I also hooked up the limit switch here and here. I temporarily put a, a stop here and a stop here so you can see how that works. That'll feed right in. Trips it. Go the other direction. feed right in stops it works very well